Hi everybody, welcome back to Print Powder Pout. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on wedding makeup. And this isn't just for brides, it's for people who are attending weddings and um, want something new to do with their makeup. Um, so it's going to be something that's suitable for summer, um, something that's not too over the top but gives you that edge and sort of um, enhances your features. So um, I'm going to moisturize my face. Um, I'm just using, um, this is the Eucerin, um Hyaluron filler, and I need a lot of filler, um, and I need a lot of moisturizer because I totally had an allergic reaction last week, um, uh, luckily not to makeup, but um, to like some vitamins I was taking, and um, my skin has like completely dried out, so I need like some major moisture at the moment. Um, so I'm going to pop that all over. I'm using quite a bit because my skin is really dry. Moisturizer is a good way to sort of prep the skin as well if you don't have a primer. But I will be using a primer today. Okay, first I'm going to prime my skin. And I'm going to use Prime Time by Bare Minerals. Um, and this is their standard primer, um, which is fantastic. And this will help the makeup stay on all day. Popping it down my T-zones and where my pores are enlarged. Next I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation and this color is in R170 and um, I'm going to use one of their new um, buffing brushes which I think are fantastic because I don't know if you've ever seen um, their old makeup brushes which look like this and this is when they had the loose powder and this one's for the compacts. Okay, now I have the base on, and I'm going to go ahead and start on my eyes. And I'm going to be using this gorgeous quad palette um, by Bam Minerals again, and this is called The Truth. And these colors um, are more sort of along the purple range, um, though they're not conventional purple, so you can still see they've got more of a neutral tone to them. Um, but they'll be really great for people who have... Um, blue eyes, green eyes, um, and even brown eyes because it's not a conventional brown so it's not going to clash. So I'm going to take the lighter color all over. I'm next going to take this color right here which is called Fate and I'm going to go into the crease of the eye. Buffing brush, I'm going to buff that out. And just blend it up to the eye. Next, I'm going to take this color right here, which is called Serendipitous. I'm going to take that on the outer third of my eye and blend it over the socket bone. And using a flat brush, I'm going to take um, this color Fate right here. And I'm just going to run that along my lash line. And using a little blending brush, I'm going to smudge that out just a little bit. It'll still keep some of that white poking through. I'm going to take that underneath the lash line as well.
Okay, I'm just going to reinstate a little bit of that lighter color just um, in the center of my eyes right there. Okay, now I'm going to apply mascara. This one is uh, a Bare Minerals one as well, actually. Um, flawless Definition. And I'm going to start with my bottom lashes and then I'm going to go to my top lashes. Okay, so now I want to contour the cheeks, and I'm going to use a bronzer by Bare Minerals again, and this one is the, um, the Skinny Dip. And taking just one of these precision brushes again, I'm just going to gently tap into it, and I'm going to go under the cheekbone, sort of in the hollow of my cheek. around my forehead and just lightly over my nose where the sun would naturally kiss it. And then I'm just going to finish off the cheeks with a bit of pink and this one is the French Kiss by Bare Minerals. And then I'm going to set the whole look with my mineral veil, which I love, and I, I know I've um, probably reviewed this a million times, but it's um, it's fantastic by Ben Minerals. It's their translucent powder, and um, it just makes everything just look completely flawless. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that in the lid, dab it onto my brush, and just take it over just to give it that last bit of flawless complexion. Okay, I'm just going to sort out my eyebrows and this is my Brow Tamer by e.l.f. I'm just going to apply a little, a little bit more of that lightness just underneath the brow just to lift it. For the lips, I'm going to use the Lip Crayon by Seventeen. Alright, and that is my summer wedding makeup tutorial. Next, I'm going to be doing hair to go with it. The other week, I did a crown braid, um, which everyone loved, but there was a lot of people that were saying, oh, I won't be able to recreate this. So I'm going to show you how to recreate it without all the fuss, and this really is the easiest way to do it. So um, stay tuned. Come back and see me. Um, please subscribe, comment, and like, and I'm uploading now several times a week. So um, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Bye.